All right, I've driven past this place a million times. I never really gave it a second look. But today I gave it a second look and I've decided I'm gonna give it a shot. Uh, this is Martinez Creek. I've never seen anybody fish it. I've, I'm like seriously, I've never given it a second look, but I just noticed today that there's actually a bike trail that follows it. And uh, it looks like there's some decent water in it today. I've seen it down pretty low, so I wasn't sure about it. But Yeah, it's got, it's uh, it's not very much water. There's a lot of little bait fish in it. Not a lot of water, but it's enough water to hold at least a decent fish. And I'm gonna head up under this way and fish under the bridge because it looks like it widens up and might have some more water in there. All right, I mean, I've been getting bites, small bites, nothing substantial. I haven't seen anything big, but I mean, up ahead here it looks really good. I see a lot, a big ripple like I spooked something there. Damn it. Oh, thought I still, what? Are you kidding me? I caught one. Wow. Oh, they're shad. That's what they are. Look at that. He actually bit the hook and it went through his gill. He might survive actually. No, I don't think he's gonna survive, but I just caught a shad on a Sanko. That is insane. All right, I got to the lake with probably an hour, hour and a half maybe of sunlight left. Fish as much of it as I can. I have not been here in a while, so I don't know what the fishing is like here. Let's see. Alright, the few fish I have caught here have all been on buzz baits and spinners, so I'm going to throw a spinner. Maybe it'll work. Oh, there we go. Right at the bank there. Grabbed it. Tore up his face a little bit, but just a little one. There we go. These white Walmart spinners work. Make sure I'm still recording. Oh, and he gets away. He just set himself free. Well, save me the trouble of climbing back down under there. Man, when they blow up at the surface right at your feet like that kind of scares you sometimes wasn't expecting it I was about to pick it up out of the water and he grabbed it not a very big one probably not even a pound but I knew if I kept throwing right here I would get one so that's the that's the secret to Woodlawn Lake for bass is spinners all right, I've been here for literally half an hour so far, and I've caught one fish. It doesn't take very long to fish. I mean, I worked all day today, got out in time to fish for an hour at a creek, and come here at this lake for half an hour, and I caught a fish. Now, one thing I wanted to talk about in this video is uh, I've been looking for a fishing club in the San Antonio area, the local area, that does fishing tournaments. There's, there's a handful that do, several that do, but there's always some kind of catch. They don't do, the tournaments aren't in town. You gotta go to the, the Mexico border, like Falcon Lake and stuff to fish, or you gotta go out of town to like Medina Lake or uh, Canyon Lake. There's none that really do tournaments in San Antonio. And the ones that do, you have to have a kayak or a boat. You know, nobody does bank fishing tournaments. And not everybody can have a boat, not everybody can afford a kayak. Uh, so my idea is to have a fishing club, a local fishing club that does bank fishing tournaments in the area. 
at the bodies of water, like the small lakes like this. And not everybody has time to go out and do these tournaments either. So it came to me to do, I was just able to catch one fish in about half an hour. So my idea is to do a tournament that's an hour or two hours long and biggest fish wins either like a bag of three or a bag or like just the one biggest fish so uh you know like say like a group of friends just goes out for a little while and throws a, some money into a pot biggest fish wins the money that's basically what i'm thinking of so i've already started a facebook group i'll post a link here uh, i don't want it to get it too too big and out of control uh because then we're going to have to start doing like perm permits and all that with the city. Like I'll do that eventually if it gets big. But for now, I want it to be like small groups of people, maybe 5 or $10 entry fees. Uh, first, second, third place winners. Uh, maybe an hour, two hour long tournaments, something like that. Something that's not going to take all day. You can do it in the middle of the week. You can do it on the weekend. Not everybody has week weekends off to fish. Not everybody's available for a full day of fishing. So that's, that's what this fishing club is targeted at. Like if you have a full-time job and you can't travel, you don't have a boat, and you don't have a whole lot of time to fish, but you want to fish tournaments, that's, that's my situation. That's what this club is going to be for. So uh, I'm going to post a link below. Uh, for now, it's the San Antonio area only. So if you live in San Antonio, you want to try it out. Or if you live close to San Antonio and you wouldn't mind traveling, traveling a little bit, uh, just click the link below. And uh, uh, we'll, we'll get started on it. We're starting to organize. So uh, thanks for watching. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep fishing for a little while. If I catch anything else, it'll be after this bit. But this is pretty much the end of the video. So thanks for watching. Check out the, the Facebook club. If you're not on Facebook, but you want to do it, then you should probably join Facebook. Everybody else is on Facebook. So uh, yeah, see you next time.